Okay, Kapalians, it's very nerve-wracking and very exciting for me right now because sitting with me is the fabulous Dave McKean. Dave, thank you so much for joining us here at Kapow. Thank you for comparing me. <laughs> Excellent. So you're here at Graphic Festival premiering Nine Lives. So could you tell us a little bit about what Nine Lives is? Uh, yeah, it's a collection of short stories. Um, and some of them had their origins as, as film projects. Uh, many as comic book projects that have been sort of turned into films or turned halfway into films. Um, some of them are songs. There are six songs uh, with films accompanying. And they are a, a collection of uh, either little bits of people's lives or the, one of them is a whole person's life beginning to end. Um, so it's uh, Nine Lives is just a, a way of bracketing a collection of uh, disparate short stories. Are they inspired by true lives or are they complete fabrications? Uh, they're a mixture. Uh, they are all uh, about sort of real people in real life situations. Um, although the imagery is often quite dreamlike and uh, imaginative, they're all uh, real people stories. Some of them are, uh, I mean, one of them is semi-autobiographical. Uh, a couple are about friends of mine. Um, one of them is a little clip from a film, a feature film that I'm finishing uh, called Luna, yeah. and that has its origins in uh, some friends of mine who went through a very uh, difficult situation. So yes, a mixture. Now I've read a lot of interviews with other artists who kind of credit you as a bit of an inspiration. So I was wondering who or what inspires you with your art? That's God. a big question, I'm sorry. Have you got seven hours? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a, you know, the end is list is, 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 uh, listless, as they say. Uh, so, um, but it's really almost anybody. Uh, you can find something uh, to, to take from almost everything. That's what I learned in art school. Just keep my eyes open. Just um, keep watching everything. Just keep watching everything. <laughs> Absorb it all. Um, but there are a few uh, uh, key people over the years who yeah. are really important. Um, Windsor McKay is one of the originators of comics. Uh, did Little Nemo in Slumberland. He's still one of my favourites. <laughs> and um, and one of your fellow countrymen, Sean Tapp, I really like at the moment. And then there's a great Italian artist called Lorenzo Matotti, who I still think is the best comics artist <laughs> ever. Wow, that's that's a big call, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, now you're, I mean, you do everything. You do animation, you do drawing, sculpture, quite. photography. <laughs> Not quite. This is my cook. <laughs> Maybe later. But was there is there a particular discipline of art that you found challenging that maybe you want to go back and go, I could do that so much better this time? Um, I think film is the, is the toughest one. Um, I, I love just sitting at home and drawing, and I have control over everything. Yep. And if I get to the end of the day and I've had a bad day, I can just quietly screw it up and throw it in the bin. <laughs> Nobody ever needs to see it. Um, film, you're kind of on, on display all the time. You have to work with a crew, uh, and it is like trying to control the weather. Um, it's chaotic and, um, as Marshall Brickman said uh, famously, a, a truck full of fresh compromises pulls up every morning. Um, but I, So I had a really difficult time with my first film because I was desperately trying to control it all, like I did with my comics and yeah. illustration. This, the, the other films that I've made, especially Luna, this one that I'm finishing at the moment, I learnt to just back off really and let the actors do their thing. And this chaos happens, and you just have to try and pick and choose and gently, gently maneuver it <laughs> into something that uh, is, is your world. Yeah. Um, so if you go with it, it's fabulous. It if you fight it all the time, it's <laughs> bugger. <laughs> is there someone that, um, li living or dead, because you collaborate with a lot of very interesting people, but is there someone that you would just give your right arm for just to collaborate with? Again, there's it's just so question. many. Um, I, I, I'm a huge fan of early cinema. In fact, a lot of the work that was done in the 10s and 20s, you know, it was the birth of comics, it was the birth of films, it was the birth of jazz, it's the birth of all those, all the it's media that I really time love. Time. Extraordinary time. So a lot of those people, uh, the early filmmakers, Murnau and uh, Dreyer and Fritz Lang and these people, you know, you, I would love to have contributed to Dr. Caligari or something like that. So that, that's, that, that's the world that is a big inspiration to me. But obviously we're living at the beginning of a new century mm -hmm. and trying to take some of that spirit into a digital age, yes. in this new age. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> is there something that you're working on at the moment that you could maybe give us a bit of a, a sneak idea on? I'm doing, a, I mean, I usually try and keep 
at least 12 balls up in the air at once. Uh, so I'm working on covers again for Sandman, for Neil's uh, new series. Very exciting. Which is uh, uh, very daunting. Yes. It wasn't daunting at all during the first ones because we nobody knew who we were, so we just did it. It didn't really matter. didn't matter. <laughs> Uh, but now there's a, this huge expectation of what it is, um, so I kind of had stage fright this time. <laughs> but that, I got, I've, I've started those, that's going okay. And then I'm planning another film, oh, um, another strange uh, semi-theatre, semi-film film uh, called Callisto and the Wolves, where we take the audience into the, into the woods and show them a very strange uh, mythic story of Callisto. And uh, there's no words in it, and there's lots and lots of music in it, and I don't quite know what it's going to be <laughs> yet. But we've had a good time uh, in the woods dressing actors up as wolves and deer and getting the actors dressed as wolves to hunt the actors dressed as deer. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I can't wait to see that one happen. It'll be fascinating to watch them hunt each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Dave, thank you so much for joining us here at Kapow. It's been an absolute pleasure for me. I can attest to that, and I'm still shaking a little bit from nerves. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>